Hey guys, check it out. So we made it down, doing some panning. And I wanted to tell you, yesterday we were all around this area. Check the area out a little bit here. So we were all around here. I had panned here before and I got really good colors. But where I panned, it was actually right here a couple of months ago. And where I had panned um, happened to be a, a, a pothole in the bedrock. So I thought maybe it was a fluke pan because we came yesterday pan here, there, here. We panned all over around here and we just weren't really getting the colors. But we knew there was some good going before, so I wanted to come one more time to check it. We dug down right here and we realized that there's some really, really hard pack gravels right here. And the material's completely different. It's like, it took us 20 minutes just to get a little hole going. It's super solid. And look at our look at our pans, it's loaded with black sand. I've already panned half it out. Almost all of it was black sand. Right in the middle of the creek. I'm telling you, these smaller creeks, you wanna be right in the middle of these creeks. So go ahead, I'm gonna pan this down. And we'll see what we're looking like here. Got most of it down already, but this stuff is so heavy. I'm already seeing gold in the corners. This is crazy. For a pan in the creek, that is exactly what you want to see for a good sign. This material is so heavy, so many garnets. But that's how you know you're in the right spot, all this heavy material. So, you gotta deal with it. Let's see what this pan's looking like. I saw a few pieces in there. Try to come in here. Look at those colors. Couple shovels out of the creek, guys. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Let me try to get it in there. Several nice, chunky, catchable gold right there. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna work this area. We're gonna use that stream sluice a little bit. Like I told you guys, we're gonna use that stream sluice and probably run one or two buckets of this stuff and see what we come out. We'll just show you a little clean of afterward. Just processing it by hand today. See what we can do. All right, we'll be back. Here we are again. Look, I want to show you guys. I was talking about how we uh, panned all around yesterday. Didn't find much gold, couple colors, and today we're finding tremendous gold. It's because we're in this hard packed gravel. It's a regional stream bed. This stuff is what you would call virgin ground. It has not been touched. This stuff is hundreds of years old. And the way you can tell, is what you guys want to be panning. See this right here? It's really kind of hard to see. But this is all makeup of all different rocks. People out west would call this conglomerate. It's almost impossible to go through. This rock is just right on the surface. You can see every edge of it. And it, won't, it doesn't want to come. So, when you break this stuff, you'll see it be super milky, cloudy, whatever color the hard pack is. See that stuff? It's just solid. It's actually acting like bedrock, and the gold is right on the surface on top of this stuff. But this stuff in here, it is like complete concrete. It's almost nearly impossible to do. But you just gotta work it, get up underneath it. See, this stuff is not gonna break. Boom, there we go. You kind of walk up under it. But look at this stuff. That's what original stream bed looks like. Want to know if it's been mined before? If it doesn't look like this, that means it has. There it is. For the thumbnail. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. I can smell gold. <laughs> smell it. We're putting this in our pacifier. Breaking this up. Once you start breaking it up, it'll really start coming. We'll be classifying all that down. Woo! Same stuff over here. So it seems like on the right side of the creek, it's all just loose. See, it's all just loose. Whole different color. It's brown. This stuff over here. It's got this, well that looks brown, but it's got this really red. It's super red and see creamy when you mess with the pack. It's creamy red. Complete different gravels, complete different colors. 
some of this stuff here. See it? So you could be paying this creek on one side all the way down. See, there's no gold here. And just right over, that's always the storage, a couple feet over, tremendous gold. All right, let me get back to work here so we can start screening this stuff. doing this the old-fashioned way looking at this original stream bed imagine what these old timers dug through this stuff is like concrete but that's where the good gold is we're running this loose here we got these fleeces on our website they're really pretty good there's no mats in them you pick it up less stuff to deal with it's got a little fine identification screen in front a couple of different ripples I think it works really good I've done it a couple times now I already see a couple of nice pieces of gold right in the front. I'd like to stop right away. We're going to run about a bucket, maybe two buckets. The pan is the bucket starting to get a little close to dark. we got a long walk back. Been a lot of bear sightings out here too. A lot of bear scat and we see some markings all over the tree. This is definitely way off the beaten path in bear country. So. We gotta get out of here a little early. Feeding the sluice. Love this little sluice. Here we are, my favorite time of the day, cleanup time. So I've set up at least a hundred stream sluices in my life, and this usually takes like 10 minutes. For some reason, this just works perfect. The sluice fit right in, and I even found this little rock right here to hold it. It's like it was made for this, but it was also the scariest time because you don't want to lose everything you got. So I'm going to be really careful here. I have to kind of get the top up first. Got to keep it level. I'm going to do a dock style, slide to the side. Let the water drain out. Kind of get everything packed in there. See what we got here. You can see a couple pieces in there. Let's see. No big clunky ounce nuggets yet, but a couple little pieces in here. Most of it's covered underneath the uh, black sands. But I like to see, see, they range about two buckets. No, it was one, it was two half buckets, so one bucket. And this is all that's left here. The ripples acted really good. Um, some of them got a little cleaned out when I was tilting it, but should be in here fine. This, I like the way this roof has worked really well. Nothing but black sands behind there. Garnets rolled out perfectly. Here we go. Should fit right in. Fits right into the bucket. I'll have to tilt it back some. Problem is getting the with a No mask to deal with, boom, done. Ready to go. Pop it right back in. No nuggets of wedges in there. So 
done. There you go. You got your cause. You can put this back in if you're worried about uh, packing up too much. Set it right back up and then ready to do another one. All right, let's pan this up. Some gold in there. Alright, I'm gonna wash back now. Check it out. 